Metrology is a science of measurements. Metrology may be divided depending upon the quantity to be measured like metrology of length, metrology of time. In this metrology, we will use the scientific standards and procedures to measure the object. So, we can call this as a science of measurement. Main concerns of metrology is establishing the units of measurement, ensuring the uniformity of measurement, developing methods of measurement, errors of measurement, accuracy of measuring instrument and their care, finally industrial inspection. These are the main concerns of metrology. Objectives of metrology is provide the required accuracy at minimum cost, complete evaluation of newly developed products, determination of process capabilities, determination of measuring instruments capabilities, minimizing the cost of inspection, reducing the cost of rejection and rework through the statistical quality control techniques, to standardize the measuring methods, to maintain the accuracy of measurements. These are our main objectives of metrology and uh, prepare for design for all gauges and special inspection of fixtures to develop the standardized equipment. These are the objectives. Process of measurement The sequence of operation necessary for our execution of measurement is called process of measurement. The three important elements of measurement is measurement, reference, comparator. Measurement is the physical quantity or property like length, angle, diameter, thickness. What we are going to measure that is called measurement. See this picture. Length, breadth, height we are going to measure. These all are measurements. Reference is a physical quantity or property to which quantitative comparisons are made. These are the reference. Suppose, see this picture. There is a slip cage with the exact height of 20, 20 millimeter. We would like to compare the. We measure the object here. We need to compare with the reference because this reference is a highly accurate machined piece. So this piece is called reference piece. Comparator. Its means of comparing measuring measurement with some reference. This is called comparator. Methods of measurements. Methods of measurement classified into two categories. First one direct method of measurements, indirect method of measurements. Direct method is a simple method of measurement in which value of the quantity to be measured is obtained directly without any calculation that is called direct method of measurement this method most widely used for productions this method is not very accurate because it depends upon human judgment for example one year caliper micrometer and bevel protector these all are direct method measuring instruments Indirect method. In indirect method, value of the quantity to be measured is obtained by measuring other quantities which are functionally related to required value. For example, sine bar, angle alignment by sine bar, we would measure the sum of the angle with the help of the slip cages. So, this measurement is related with some other equipment. It is called indirect method measurement. Another example, measurement of soft power by dynamo meter. Elements of measuring systems. There are five elements. Standard, workpiece, instrument, person and environment. These are the five elements of measuring system. The basic element starts from the standard without which we cannot measure the 
object. Once the standard is chosen, we have to select the workpiece, then select the instrument, then measurement should be performed under a standard environment. Finally, a person or mechanism should be involved to measure the object. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you.